Hello, welcome to a brand new edition of Stevie Solves. Gosh, it's been over six months since I posted a video, or since I even recorded a video. Today is Friday, May 20th, 2022. And today's puzzle is going to be by Hal Moore. Uh, I've had a lot of, lot happen since the time I posted my last video. If you, For those of you who are my friends, you know that I have moved out of the state of Arizona and into the state of Florida. And I'm really liking it here. I'm living in the Tampa Bay area, and it is great. There's a lot of, lot of things that I really like about it. Definitely some things that I dislike, of course, but... You know, that's more society problems than Florida problems specifically. And before I get started, I just want to give some gratitude. Today, right now, in this moment, I am grateful for... Man, so many things, as always, it's, it's difficult to say. But right now, I'm grateful for the Tampa Bay Lightning winning... Going up 2-0 against the Florida Panthers. And, uh, of course, if we win that series, then we make it to the fi to the semifinals of the Stanley Cup. So, uh, it's the second round. Anyway, I was just at a bar watching that game at this really awesome, fun bar called American Social. And um, we scored with less than five seconds left to win the game without going to overtime. So it was an awesome game. All right. So now let's do this puzzle. It's been a long time. As you can see, I'm, I have not lost my streak. I've opened the puzzle and solved it successfully every day since June 22nd with a lapse in between when I, I was at a music festival a long time ago and I had a lapse where I had no internet coverage. Uh, that was in Arizona, like, in, I want to say that was like September, maybe August. Anyway, um, so coming up on June 22nd, I believe that will be my one full year of solving every single puzzle. So, hopefully I can continue that today. What are the odds that I turn on my recording <laughs> and it's the first one that I can't solve? So, all right, how more? Let's see what you got. Okay, it's an interesting grid. There's um, not a lot of, uh, well... There's not, like, big sections. There are a lot of blending in together of different sections and corners, which is cool. So, prefix with directional. I want to say omnidirectional or ambidirectional. Let's see. There's, like, multidirectional, but in terms of four letters. Up there you might say, let's see, up, there, you might say, so that's going to be a play on words when it says you might say, or in the next clue here, it's, uh, you've got the, um, let's see, how do I, if I remember how to do this, I have tab over, stock exchange, right, the next, so, also, if, whether it's a question mark or whether it says you might say either one is basically like it's going to be a play on words and not what you're thinking. Close is probably near. And then this is probably omni. Unable to perform operations. Probably in something. A sumo wrestler's is called a mawashi. 
A sumo wrestler's blank is called a mawashi. I don't think that's the belt. Hmm. Let's see. Is this Omni? Up there, you might say. Okay. Stock exchange. Could be like moves. <laughs> oh, this is also close. Oh, wait, that's close and that's close. So that's a cool word. It could be close, like to shut or, you know, shut. Or it could be close as in near. Hmm. Either way, I don't see what this across could be. Close. Close. Hmm. Border could be edge. Uh, or it could... Edge would be a border noun, but to border on something could be a but. And I think it, that is what it is because... This looks like it's going to be Alp. Vice, vice horn. It's got to be an, an Alp. Um, a but. Astronomer Thomas, for whom a comet is named for. Thomas something, I don't know. Not yet delivered after in. In utero. U.S. locale that, when said quickly, sounds like a cheer. Ohio. 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 Oahu. Oahu. But status on a conservationist's red list. Like endangered. What is this across? A sumo wrestler's is called a mawashi. Something, let's see, a plate. What is this? A spot remover. Spot could be referring to a dog, like an animal. So it could be like a shot collar, something like that. Do we know 14? Board games set on an island. Catan? I play a lot of board games. It might be Catan. Kind of fits. Oh, this is probably loincloth. This is probably nigh. As in uh, the next, the tomorrow is nigh. Uh, the next day. And then close is probably shut. Stock exchange, I think, is moose. Yep, this is loincloth. Up there, you might say. Oh, up there. You're getting old. You're getting up there. Dog. Oh, hail pop comet. Twenty one. I just took a peek at it. That's mahjong. Like only one member of the Supreme Court in its history. Only one. Oh, Hispanic. Sonia Sotomayor. Dog spot remover. Dog napper. Status. Oh, threatened. 
it's not quite an endangered. Doctrines are like edicts. I need more than that. Velvet voiced Mel, Mel Torme. Prophetic. Presage, let's see, unit equal to almost a thousand kilograms. Could be like a ton. We're talk, talking weight. It occurs to me. Prophetic. Prescient. They're rigged. They're rigged. Uh, something you rig? I don't know. Highway exit sign. Hmm, I can't think of that. I don't know. Catherine of Schitt's Creek. Is it like O'Day, O'Shea? Um, Non-coffee Starbucks order. There's like the frap. What are the non-coffee ones? Chai. Sort who refuses to answer. Hmm. Candle holders sometimes. So this is an S. They're rigged. Is it like S? Political agenda, political science. Germans call it Jean Fersi. Jean Fersi. Hmm, I don't know. Digital alternative. Digital. All right, this is Catan for sure. <laughs> Uh, as seen in chemistry class, organic, organic is a type of chemistry, solvers reactions, ahas, or ohos, word with happy or rush, hour, obviously, this is enumerate, Lead in to call, roll call. Pokemon that ultimately evolves into Alakazam. No idea about Pokemons, but I think this is Ahaz. As, oh, it's not as seen in chemistry class. It's AS, which is arsenic. Wonderful clue. See that AS looks like the word as, but it is also a chemical symbol. So this is a has. Vulnerable area. That would be like a Achilles heel, but I don't know. Browse, say. Don't have it. Monsters opposite. There's monsters and I don't know. Causing a boom would be supersonic. Whenever any object reaches, goes faster than the speed of sound, it creates a sonic boom. Best Picture winner in 2022. That would be this year. I don't know that one. I think it's about 
yeah, I don't know. Uh, contending is you're in it. Just like the Tampa Bay Lightning. Uh, only one word country that contains all five vowels. Now, I should know this because I actually know a lot. Oh, Mozambique. Because I know a lot of different words that have all five vowels. And Mozambique even has no ref, ref, repeating consonants, which is cool. Mozambique. But yeah. Blank of Sidium, philosopher who founded Stoicism. It's got to be Zane, right? Best Picture winner? Hmm. Keen, avid. Digital alternative. Print. Uh, literature's Napoleon, for example. Napoleon. I don't know that. Seek advancement through flattery. Curve. <laughs> Germans call it Jean Fersi. Don't know. San Francisco's Knob Hill. Unit equal to, I think it's a short ton. Doctrines are dog, dogmats. Dogmata. Oh, I bet that's, I bet that's c coda. What is that word? Coda. Yeah, Coda is a movie about, so I just learned this word. It means uh, the son of two deaf parents is a Coda. And I know a guy, I met, I met a guy recently that uh, speaks sign language because both of his parents don't speak English. So this is Dogmata. Highly exaggerated and subjective as journalism. Highly exaggerated and subjective as journalism. Well, this is something I should know because I am actually intending to start covering journalism and getting into uh, fake news and stuff. Of course, deciphering fake from real and analyzing is what I will be doing. Improvise on stage. There's, uh, let's see, there's improv, there's wing it, there's, hmm. Vulnerable area. A small flaw could be like a neck. N-I-C-K, holds genderly. I think that's, this is probably a U. Manet called him the painter of painters. This could be a Zen garden, type of garden. Its website has a fantasy page. Could be Etsy and some other type of garden. Holds genderly. Or, or it could be eBay. Something, a kind of garden. Underwater forest is kelp. ESPN has a fantasy page. Nice. 
I think this is Cole's, but it might be Kerr's. I think it's Cole. Unlikely match. Kind of garden. Could be Zen. Highly exaggerated and subjective as journalism. It's gone, gone, Gonzo. This could be Velasquez. Charade is an act. Source. Source could be like the gist. It could be. Uh, Gonzo, unlikely match, highly exaggerated. I think that's probably Gonzo, but I don't know, I've never heard of it. Italian nickname that omits Al. Berto? <laughs> Berto? Big name in fashion footwear. Fashion footwear. No. <laughs> if you knew me, you know I am not that into fashion footwear. It's not to say that I shouldn't know that. Let's see. Weatherspoon. Uh, in WNBA. Oh, I was thinking NBA. WNBA. Gosh, I should know this off the top of my head. I am a little bit spacey today. Um, maybe it'll come to me in a minute. Specialization could be focus, could be forte, something term test for divergence. Calculus concept. Never heard of it. Two term. High chair features trays. Esta noche, Spanish. This night. Specialization could be forte. F O. Grammy winner for 1983's Flash Dance. What a feeling. Ambulatory AIDS. Uh, I'm guessing this is an S. Man, cousin of an Ardwolf. Hmm. Hyena? Yeah. Ninety-nine loof balloons. Ava? Inya? Hmm. Specialization niche. Grammy winner. Nth term test for divergence, I'm guessing. Browse, surf the net. Oh, that's roll, duh. Oh, okay. Enumer enumerate. I think it's enumerate. Uh, monsters opposite. Vulnerable area. Let's see. Lead into call. Robo call. Pokemon that evolves, Alakazam, Abra, 
Enumerate. Monsters opposite. Okay, let's see. Soft palette is vulnerable. So P-I-L, I don't know what that means. Seek advancement through flattery. Curly. Literature is Napoleon, for example. Is it Pip? I mean, vulnerable area. Soft spot, soft palette. That both makes sense. Is this... Ambulatory aids. Canes. Nina. What is this? Witherspoon. <laughs> this is Vanessa Improvise on Stage. Jive, Jibe. Italian Nick's nickname that omits Al. I'm thinking, oh, this doesn't have to be right for sure. Big name in fashion footwear could be core, could be so many things though. Source. Source could be sight. Like source could be a noun or an action, a verb. Irene something. Trey's niche, surf the net. Those seem right. Browse as surf the net. Enumerate. Enumerate. Unable to perform operations. Enumerate. Enumerate, I guess, would be to perform operations or to number, maybe. Um, monsters opposite. Teeny? Monster. This makes me think of Geneva, but Germans call it Genferse. Genferse. Okay, but even if it is Geneva, That's gotta be prescient. That's gotta be chai. Sort who refuses to answer. Candle holders.
They're rigged. Ma masts are rigged. Sort who refuses to answer. Clam. Political agent. Arena. Highway exit sign gas. Duh. I would say clam, but what is what does that have to do with Geneva? Lake Geneva. Lake. Candle holders are cakes. So Lake Geneva. Okay. That all makes sense. Now. <laughs> Witherspoon. Teresa. It's Teresa. So this is not right. Vulnerable area. Soft target. Literature's Napoleon. I think that's from Charlotte's Web. I think he's the pig. Curry favor. Source is the root. Teresa. Improvise on stages to rift. Big name. Oh, Aldo. Odd. That omit Italian nickname that omits Al. This got to be Irene. Irene Cara. Italian nickname that omits Al. Al. Alfredo. Alfredo. So that's Riff. Fredo. Odd. Odd core, odd coot, odd. So this is probably in, and then this is probably, let's see, Velasquez. A, oops. Okay, Mozambique, so I'm going to guess Kurs, and then, oh, oops, ooh, still not right, A, E, I, O, U, odd, Highly exaggerated and subjective. Gonzo. So that's Fredo. Let's see. So far, seems like every other section is correct. A short ton. Yeah. Utero. Hail bop. Prescient. Dog napper. Yeah. Mahjong, surf the net, niche, hyena, canes. So, holds gingerly. 
cups. Booyah. Odd couple. <laughs> Unlikely match is an odd couple. Nice, nice. Love the clues. Love that I solved it. Love that my streak is going. Love that I've made a new video that I get to post. 31 minutes is on the long side, but you know what? For a Friday or Saturday, hey, I'm always happy to take that. You know, these puzzles are tough, and uh, just to get it is nice. Let's see. Oh, um... Well, <laughs> I think the clue for the day, just because it made me, it makes me laugh still, is this one here. U.S. locale, which is a place that, when said quickly, sounds like a cheer. Wahoo! <laughs> <laughs> Oahu. It's a common four-letter entry in crosswords just because of the three vowels in there. So, yeah, you, you have to know about Oahu if you're going to... And Maui is another one if you're going to know about crosswords. All right. I hope you enjoyed this. This is fun for me. This is a big deal. I'm getting back on the horse. I'm going to start posting... These types of videos, I'm going to post other videos, news analysis, and political analysis, and commentary. So please join me for one of those. And like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And make it a great day.